Everyone says I love you But just what they say it for I never knew It's just inviting trouble for the poor sucker who says I love you I love good music So do I, let's get out of here Sit down Oh, Mr. Grover, this is Wolf J. Flywheel How do you do? That's rather a personal question, isn't it, old man? How I do and what I do is my concern. And if you marry me, your concern will be my concern. I've just hired Mr. Flywheel as a floor walker. Oh, Martha, we have enough floor walkers. Oh, please. Well, however, if you desire, what experience have you had in a department store? I was a shoplifter for three years. Oh, well, and Mr. Flywheel likes his little joke. <laughs> <laughs> just tell Mr. Grover what experience you've had. Uh, do you object if I ask him a few questions? Oh, not at all. Go right oh, ahead. Ask her anything you want. Well, it's you that I'm asking the question. Well, I just heard you ask her if you could ask me a few questions. Well, just a minute. After all, I'm not blind. Oh, oh, oh. We will assume oh, that I am a customer. My... I'm returning a baby carriage. Are you married? Why, of course not. Then what are you doing with a baby carriage? Hello, YouTube and YouTubettes. Welcome to another Marx Brothers movie review. I am Robbo. And I'm Becco. And today we're going to review the movie The Big Store. Private detectives Wolf J. Flywheel, Wacky, and Ravelli are hired by the officious Martha Phelps, co owner of the Phelps Department Store. Her beloved nephew, Tommy, has been assaulted shortly after he announces plans to sell his share of the store. Unbeknownst to Martha, the culprit is her fiancé, sleazy store manager, Mr. Grover, who wants Tommy dead before the sale exposes his years of fraud and theft. So, the big store came out in 1941. So, Becco, could you tell us who's in this movie? Groucho Marx plays Wolf J. Fly Flywheel. Margaret Dumont plays Martha Phelps. Harpo Marx plays Wacky. Chico Marx plays Ravelli. Tony Martin plays Tommy Rogers. Virginia Gray plays Joan Sutton. Douglas Dumbrell plays Mr. Gro Glover. William Tannen plays Fred Sutton. Marion Martin plays Peggy Arden. All right, let's talk about the story, the plot of the movie. Uh, what were your thoughts of it? Um, the plot was not bad. It was definitely a better movie than I remember it being. Kind of in a setting that you would normally not think of as being a setting for a, a good guy and bad guy kind of show, but it was it was good, it was funny, and, and the, the story itself was pretty good. Well, I probably, I'll have to disagree on this one. I didn't think the story was that good. I thought there was a lot of, I guess, cliche kind of storylines. There was random musical things that happened that had nothing to do with anything else. But I was not pulled in, I guess you could say, by, by it that much. What's your favorite um, non-comedy scene? or storyline scene? Um, I actually did not have one. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a funny scene, but I think it was meant, I mean, it carried the plot along. And it was Groucho and Harpo with Margaret Dumont in the office where she came in to ask him to uh, uh, for protection. And so when I say favorite non-comedy scene, I don't mean necessarily that it's not comedic, but that it carries the storyline some way. So that's my favorite. Just uh, Groucho and Harpo together is something rare when it's just the two of them. And they have a chemistry, I think, that's unlike anything else. And Harpo with Margaret Dumont is also very unique. And the three of them together was very uh, interesting. Of course, we're all used to Groucho and Margaret Dumont. And that's always great. But uh, that scene was, was incredible, I think. So what's your score for the story. I gave the storyline a five. And I gave it a four. Okay, so let's talk about the quality of the movie. Um, it was okay. Uh, there were issues with the script where the dialogue wasn't written that great. It, it's like the writers were attempting to have humor and it kind of missed the mark in places. Um, but there were parts in other places that were 
better. I did feel like the, the sets and the costumes were quite good. And just the overall feel of the movie and some of the special effects were up there with some of the other uh, Marx Brothers movies as far as the, the quality and uh, the special effects and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I think for the most part, the quality was okay. Um, the scene where they're doing the roller skates I makes me cringe. It seems like more cartoony or something that would be in a Three Stooges movie or something. It's just not my, it's not a Marx Brothers, you know, kind of thing. It, I don't know. So, but other than that, I think a lot of the, you know, movie was well filmed and well edited. And uh, generally, I think it was a solid. So what, what's your overall score for the quality? I give the quality a seven. And I gave it a six. All right, let's talk about the music. There was a lot of music in this movie. What is your overall thoughts? And There were a couple of really good songs in it. There were some kind of out of the blue, like not that great songs. But I also, I feel like it has to be said for this movie that some of the best music of any Marx Brothers movie is in this. Not the best necessarily, but some of the best. So even though it's kind of combined with some not so great songs, it does have some really, just some of the orchestral and choral music kind of at the end, that sy symphony kind of thing was just some of the best music that it probably could be better quality music. I mean, whether you like it or not is one thing, but as far as the quality of that number was, it, it really stood out. Yeah, I think that the guy that, uh, the main guy, I forget his character name. Tommy. Tommy. He um, he was kind of a lesser Alan Jones. I mean, I think he was almost there, but not quite. And maybe that, that had more to do with the quality of the script and music than it did with him. Because I thought he had a pretty good voice. Mm -hmm. um, it could be that Alan Jones just benefited from a better movie. He might have been a better actor, but not yeah. necessarily a better singer. But it's hard to judge that based upon, like, if you swapped the actors, would sure. it make him look better and make Alan Jones look worse? I don't know. So um, that I noted that. I didn't think the music quality was up to, you know, some of my favorites. But there were some moments. Um, in terms of pulling me in, uh, the music wasn't that interesting. But there were some moments where I thought, well, okay, this is pretty, pretty good. But uh, there was a lot of music in it. Um, did you have a favorite song? So there were two really good songs. I think my favorite one is the Tenement Symphony, which was the last song that had the kids in it. And it just, just the melody and the orchestra and the voices is just really good. I also liked the big band number, Sing While You, while you Sell. Sell. Yeah. Uh, was really fun and and it would have been my favorite song had that not that symphony not been there the other songs i don't really remember them mm -hmm. uh like harpo's song on the harp where he's like a, somebody from the baroque period or somebody something he that's like actually one of my favorite because that's really good but yeah. that's the only one that really sticks out in yeah. my mind the other ones weren't as memorable Mm -hmm. um yeah the but there were two really good numbers um and so i can't i can't leave out sing while you sell because it was a really good yeah good song i'll say that the harpo piece so we've seen every movie up to this point and sometimes you think okay how can you know a harp solo be any different than what they've done already yeah. or what or a piano solo and harpo um, I think this was more interesting. Uh, it was something a little different because he was in the mirror doing other, I think on two different instruments, uh, oh, two, yeah. two mirrors. So there was like three harpos mm -hmm. and that made it quite interesting. But my favorite is also sing while you sail. Mm -hmm. I think you can give Groucho a funny song and he can, he can make it great. 
Just, I was impressed by his dancing in that too, yeah. because you don't see him uh, dance like he does funny movements, yeah. but you wouldn't necessarily consider him a, a good dancer per se. Mm -hmm. He just moves funnily, but he yeah. actually could dance well in this one. Not not that he's a dancer, but right. he he could do some like more difficult stuff, which was impressive. Yeah. He's a very good performer, and just like he did in uh, Tattoo Lady in the last one, mm -hmm. this one. Um, he did a great job. I loved when he come. It always cracks me up when he come came out with the hair, like his, he had a his hair up in a straight. You remember that? Like it was pulled up like in a uh, alfalfa kind of hair. Oh. Um, during that song, and he well after walking down several ladies, he walks down himself mm -hmm. down the ramp. So yeah, that's also my favorite. So, um, what's your score for the music? I gave the music a seven. And I gave it a seven. All right, let's talk about the uh, acting performances, the non-Marx Brothers. There were some pretty good supporting actors in this. Some of them were kind of forgettable, but I felt like it was pretty consistent. Mr. Grover, I think his name was, or Glover, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen him do other things. Like, he's a really good actor. They were all pretty pretty good uh, yeah i felt like it was consistent d down to the even the extras were were good yeah, i want to say one of the uh villains was in a previous marx brothers movie but i can't remember which one but yeah so do you have a favorite um non-marx brother uh my favorite is the italian man hmm. he was really funny and he was oh, just in the, the one brief, scene yeah but he was just really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I uh, overall, uh, I think the acting was pretty solid. Um, I thought the leading lady was a little boring. But uh, like I said, the leading man, Tommy, was almost like Tommy, uh, almost like Alan Jones in A Night at the Opera and A Day at the Races. Not quite to that level. And the villains were all very good. But my favorite would have to be Margaret Dumont in this one. Um, I don't give her the nod in a lot of movies because I'm trying to pick different people. But she was definitely, this is one of her better ones, I think. And so for the Marx Brothers, do you have a favorite? My favorite Marx Brother was Groucho. And mine was also Groucho. Do you have a, overall thoughts of the Marx Brothers performances? Um, they were all pretty good. Uh, I, f I did feel like because the script was so strange at some parts, there was a feeling that was different than usual in certain scenes, not the whole time. And maybe because now we're in the 1940s, there's just a different kind of style and a different feeling. And even the way they deliver some of their, their lines, it wasn't necessarily bad always, but... Some of the stuff didn't feel as Marx Brothers-ish because of the way the script was written. Yeah, I, it's hard to really describe what that even is. It's just the way the script was written made it off somehow. Yeah. If I don't know if you noticed this, but Chico was like not only in a few scenes. And mm -hmm. there was a couple of times where there was group numbers and it was Groucho and Harpo in the scene, but Chico was nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what was going on if he ha couldn't be there for quite a bit of it, if he was sick. I, don't, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But I thought both Groucho and Harpo did a good job, but my favorite was also Groucho. So what is your score for the performances? I gave for the performances a four. And I gave it a six. All right, now we'll talk about the humor. So what is your thoughts on how good the comedy was? So again, the script was kind of written oddly, but there were some really good, really funny parts. Um, so I'm kind of torn. Um, and that the whole thing with this movie is that I'm, I'm really torn on certain things because... There were aspects of it that were just the best, like close to maybe even being my favorite. 
But then there was so much like odd stuff and stuff that fell flat mm -hmm. that it brought that quality down a bit. However, it had it did have some really great scenes um, as far as comedy goes. Yeah, there was some moments where it was almost room service level bad. Yeah. There's a scene, I don't know if you remember, where Groucho is, there's somebody is complimenting him, and he's acting all humble and saying stuff like, uh, well, say that again. I Some people don't aren't. I'm not being appreciated or whatever. And it's like this, you, I don't know if you remember what I'm talking about, but um, Groucho, that whole scene just made me cringe. Mm -hmm. And it almost seemed like Groucho was playing straight, but yeah. still playing it off, trying to be funny. And there was a few other scenes like that. Like I said, the roller skating scene was just not Marx Brothers. And I kind of compare that to the ape scene the monkeys, or the ape scene in circus where they're swinging and the ladies, Margaret Dumont's even swinging up there and all that. Yeah. It just doesn't feel Marx Brothers to me. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's some really funny scenes, like I mentioned earlier, Groucho and Harpo. Yeah. Uh, that actually reminds me, that kind of comedy reminded me of The Little Rascals a little bit. Uh -huh. Just, you know, cooking in the in the stove, you know, and then hiding it from Margaret Dumont coming in and yeah. hiding everything just reminded me a little bit, little rascals -y. So, uh, let me think. And nothing else really sticks out to me as far as comedy. Um, they did a few little things that were pretty funny. Um, do you have a favorite, uh, comedy scene? Yes. But my favorite scene was the scene with all the beds and the Italian family that comes in. Mm hmm and they keep losing their kids, and they try to keep giving them, like, uh, black kids, Asian kids, like, kids right. that are clearly not theirs. Right. And they keep losing their kids inside of those, like, reversible beds. Native American family wearing yeah. their Yeah. I their mean, whole... it's a little bit, like, it, uh, right. racist They're... for today's standards. Right. Obviously, they didn't mean it that way, but yeah. it, it was a funny... A really funny scene. The, the yeah. whole thing and even all the extras were just, their performances were really good. Yeah. That's also my favorite. And I liked what Groucho had some really good lines, funny lines in that, where mm -hmm. this lady comes up and says, excuse me, sir, how much is this bed? $15,000, which, you know, would even be a lot for, I don't know, I, I don't remember how much he said. Uh -huh. And he And she goes, that seems like a lot. And then her husband comes up and says, is this bed really, he goes, I can get the same bed for $80 somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And Groucho goes, no, well, yeah, but not with me in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so that was, I love that line. And just the, the funny beds, which, you know, I would love to have one of those in, you know, uh, to create space. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh so I didn't realize they had such advanced stuff back in the 40s, but... Uh, well, I think they, they they exaggerated a bit. Yeah. Yes, there were convertible beds Some back were going then, into the floor. Those were definitely created, like, they're, they're definitely over the top and not yeah. realistic. Like, wasn't there a bed that was, like, eight stories high and then it went yeah, all yeah, the way yeah. into that the was, floor? That was just created for <laughs> Hollywood, for, yeah. the, for film. And, of course, Harpo was... Uh, having fun with the buttons. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that was definitely a great scene. And that felt like Marx Brothers to me, too. Yeah. As some of the others did not. So what is your score for humor? My score for humor is six. And I gave it a seven. And what is your overall score for The Big Store? I give it a 5.8. And I gave it a 6.2. Well, madam, take this down. Go on, please. I saw your name in the classified directory. Where is going on here? As I saw you were here by the time. I need your protection. That's why I'm here. Hmm. This case is more baffling than I thought. Tell it to me again. I saw your name in the classified. I think you're 
machine. They're really not perfected yet. 